If you watch some of the big magazine reviews of the two Honda 300Ls when they first came out, a particular narrative emerged. The regular 300L Dual Sport is the one designed for more technical trails. Lighter, more nimble, more off-road capable. The more adventure-focused 300L Rally was touted as the bike meant for dirt and gravel roads, but not really meant for the rougher stuff. Bullshit. I'm sure that the regular L model is a little better on extremely technical terrain. How can it not be? It's almost the same bike, but lighter. But to paint the rally as a motorcycle meant mostly for gravel and dirt roads is doing it a great disservice. This is a very capable off-road motorcycle which can tackle some seriously challenging trails, even under a complete beginner. If you're hesitant about buying this bike because you're questioning its off-road chops, you need to watch this video. And as always, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button to help the channel grow. So this is my wife's rally and she's a complete beginner to off-road. We've lowered it for her because the stock bike was just too tall, otherwise we've just added a few protective bits and a luggage rack. My wife uses the bike as her primary motorcycle and I use it when I want to go on trails for which my Yamaha Tenere 700 is too heavy. I'm an intermediate off-roader and she is just learning to ride the rough stuff, but does not have the confidence yet to stand up on tougher obstacles. And yes, we know that that's where standing on the motorcycle makes most sense. We're fortunate enough to have access to endless trails from gravel to dirt to deep sand to loose rocks to single track. So I've had the opportunity to test the bike on all of those surfaces and Brooke has had the opportunity to dip her toes into the world of off-roading. Here's how the rally has handled its various trials. So far it's managed to roll over everything I've pointed it at. As far as I can tell, it can do everything that any dual sport in this price range can do while providing far better wind protection and comfort on the way back home from the trails. Am I jumping it or taking it up crazy gradients in Moab, Utah? No. But I wouldn't do those things on the standard 300L either. That's the realm of dirt bikes and hardcore enduros, and those tend to be twice the price of the 300-ish CC Japanese dual sports that populate the CRF's niche. Yes, the rally is softly suspended and tends to bounce a bit much over whoops, but that doesn't hinder its ability to get where it's going, it just hinders its ability to get there fast. The difference between the rally and the regular L off-road is relatively minimal, while the difference on the road is much more significant, at least in Canada. It gets pretty cold here and the extra weather protection extends your riding season quite a bit. That's why this made more sense as Brooks' main bike than the standard dual sport version. And having a much larger tank eliminates the need for a rotopax when you ride deep into the wilderness where you won't find a gas station. We do this fairly often. How is it for beginners? Well, Brooke is a complete noob off-road and doesn't yet have the confidence to stand on the rougher stuff. I'm sure she'll gain it soon. But even with the rider sitting, the bike simply rolls through most moderate obstacles. One time I told Brooke that carrying more speed over rough terrain made it smoother, which is only really true if you're standing. If you're sitting, the results are hilarious. But as you can see, the bike handled all of this with no drama and Brooke slowed down for the next few dips which made things much easier and started to stand a bit further down the trail. So if you've been convinced that the 300L Rally is some sort of gravel bike, banish that nonsense from your brain. It does have more side plastics which hit the rocks first when you drop it, but those plastics are remarkably tough and have held up well despite a fair bit of abuse. And if you want to really protect them, you can get the engine guards from Bikers Bits. One more thing. When we first got this bike, I was going to replace the suspension with something a bit more high performance. But to be honest, Brooke is not heavy enough to require a suspension upgrade. And so far at least, I'm comfortable riding around the Pogoe suspension. If in the future I want to ride harder, I'll just get a more enduro focused machine. Right now, there's nothing that catches my attention enough to go out and spend the money, but who knows? If Yamaha comes out with a WR300R, or better yet, a 350, or Honda puts out a 450L Rally, or Suzuki upgrades the DRZ400, maybe there'll be a new bike on the channel for your viewing pleasure. 
For now, the Tenere 700 and 300L Rally are our tickets to adventure in the Canadian wilderness. So if you like those and haven't done so yet, please feel free to subscribe. It helps out the channel a great deal. So what do you think of the rally as a bush bike, or even the only motorcycle you'll ever need? Is it your cup of tea or is there something else you'd rather park in your garage? If you want to learn more about it, feel free to check out my playlist. And if there's a motorcycle you'd like the big manufacturers to produce, throw it in the comments. How nice would a Suzuki DRZ450 be, with fuel injection and a sixth gear? Anyways, I'll leave you with some off-road adventures Canadian style. Enjoy and ride safe. Jesus! If you're interested in any of the gear that Brooke and I wear or use, or the camera equipment we use to film this channel, the links are below. Everything listed there was bought with our own money and we are not sponsored by any company. However, the links below are affiliate links and the channel has paid a small amount for referring you to shop at no additional cost to you. We do not recommend any products that we are not satisfied with ourselves, but we do strongly urge you to do your research and select the correct size for items like helmets and clothing. As always, thanks for watching, your support is greatly appreciated. Please hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And whatever you ride, enjoy it. Wave at other bikers no matter what they're riding, we're all part of a brotherhood and sisterhood. Keep the rubber side down, shiny side up and may the spokes be with you.